What is the story behind the creation of lemon, lime and bitters? To understand this history behind the creation of the lemon, lime and bitters drink, we need to understand what are bitters and the history of Angostura bitters. In simple form, bitters is a mixture made from herbs and spices. It is a flavour enhancer used in both food and in drink. And although bitters is usually between 40 to 50% alcohol by volume, each dash contains an insignificant amount of alcohol. Therefore, it is considered non-alcoholic. Angostura and similar gentian bitters have been and can be used for settling a mild case of nausea and have also been used to stimulate the appetite either for food or for cocktails. Using both aperitifs and digestives, it settles the stomach before a meal or before a night of drinking. We've all seen the bottle behind the bar with its instantly recognisable oversized label and yellow cap. It goes a long way back to the early 1800s. It all starts with Angostura aromatic bitters. Using over 30 botanicals, herbs and spices, Angostura aromatic bitters was created in 1824 by Dr. Seeget with his privately developed formula called Amargo Aromatico. This was used by his patients to assist with all types of ailments while he was a Surgeon General to the armies of Simon Bolivar. The label's oversized positioning is simply due to Dr. Seeget's brother ordering the labels and the good doctors ordering the bottles for the first batch. When all arrived, there was no turning back, even when the two clearly were a little miss. The popularity grew, and so the unique bottle and the label stayed the same. Angostura bitters is the most popular and most widely distributed bitters in the world, and for good reason. Angostura bitters is a high quality aromatic bitters that has a distinct, complex and intense flavour profile that no one has been able to replicate. Angostura bitters is also 100% natural, using no artificial colours or additives to create the iconic product. There's over 190 years of production knowledge and history with Angostura. So what about their lemon, lime and bitters? How did this iconic drink come to be in our marketplace? To understand the history of a lemon, lime and bitters drink, we need to go back to the early 1800s. Angostura bitters, with its easily recognisable label, was sold to sailors in the region and soon found its way to England where it came to be used in a number of cocktails, following its medicinal use by the Royal Navy in a drink called Pink Gin. Pink Gin is simply a splash or two of Angostura bitters swirled around the inside of a tumbler with a generous serve of gin added. The drink is called Pink Gin due to its pink colour created from the bitters. The swirling of Angostura around the inside of the glass to make a lemon lime and bitters came from the method for making the pink gin cocktail. At this time, another similar drink was created. This drink is called the Campbell. Once again, a large tumbler was sprinkled with Angostura aromatic bitters. However, this time with the glass filled with lemonade. As settlers arrived in Australia, so came with them their favourite beverages, pink gin, Campbell and rum of course. Also fresh lime and lime juice were a significant additive to rum drinks in this period. In around the 1830s, people started to play golf in Australia and the popularity of the refreshing Campbell drink was immense. With lime juice being readily available in Australia and already used in other favourite drinks, it was only a natural progression that the popular Campbell soon had a new element added to it, being lime. It's understood that with the Australian heat, golfers dropped the rum and just asked for a lemon, lime and bitters. As such, the Angostura lemon, lime and bitters drink was created. How to make a perfect lemon, lime and bitters for your venue? There are essentially three ways in today's marketplace that venues are making lemon, lime and bitters. Venues usually adapt a method based on the time required to turn over drinks in each of their bars at that time. We call the three methods, the quick service method for venues that have to turn over drinks at a very fast pace, the traditional method for venues that have that little more time to add to the experience of the patron and the muddled method. For the venues who like to drive an upmarket culture in their venue. Many people enjoy the 100 million Angostura lemon, lime and bitters served each year in Australia. To truly make the original lemon, lime and bitters, you need to use Angostura aromatic bitters. It's an Aussie icon. Enjoy!